Hello and welcome to this amazing course of Internet of Things, also known as IoT. Now this is the getting started section. And in this section, I would like to give you a feel about how big is IoT and what is exactly IoT in the first place. Now before moving ahead, I would like to start with the basics, that is reading the definition. Now let's see what Wikipedia defines Internet of Things. According to Wikipedia, the Internet of Things is the network of physical objects or things embedded with electronics, software, sensors and connectivity to enable it to achieve greater value and service by exchanging data with the manufacturer, operators and or other connected device. Now let's simplify this definition. Now according to this definition and Wikipedia, IoT is actually combination of uh, physical objects and things and when you are able to communicate with them and not only communicate but also able to monitor them and control them using a connected setup. So that's exactly what is IoT is. We have already entered into an era where physical objects like your car, your refrigerator and even your coffee machine has the capability to communicate with each other and not only the capability they are already communicating with each other few people have already experimented by connecting all this device together allowing you to do some of the things which will really surprise you to an extreme imagine a world where industries are running in maximum automation with topmost efficiency and effectiveness who don't want that every industry owner want to have now with the IoT solution we have industry 4.0 and this is going to be the tipping point for all of the industry not only all of the industry but will change lives by connecting people to things and objects now let's see few of the very basic use cases which already have been implemented and people are already using in their real life now the best example which i can find and everyone can correlate with is this nice umbrella this looks very simple and gentle but this is having this new feature which is based upon IoT. It has been occurred to me many times that I'm going out and it's raining and I forgot my umbrella. And someday when I thought that it would be raining and I picked up my umbrella and I had to carry my umbrella without any cause. And you just cannot really check the weather every time you go out of your house. But your umbrella can. Now people have made the umbrella smarter by embedding this small device which will allow it to communicate with us and tell us if it's required. So this is the smart umbrella. Now moving on when we talk about our home. So we have this connected home capabilities which is already been developed where your refrigerator, your washing machine, your lighting system of your home and your security system is interconnected. So for example, you are leaving your office and uh, your home automatically knows that you are going to come so it starts your room heater and uh, it will set the room heater into the temperature which is exactly to your office this is one less thing speaking as a person if you focus on this small small details every time and to make it right then we will miss out on the bigger opportunities which are presented in our life now these are some of the examples which are related to our personal usage now when we talk about big companies and big industries how they are going to benefit from IoT. Now there's been a discussion about predictive scheduling and predictive maintenance from a very long time. What IoT capabilities will allow you to do? We have this big machineries which sometimes goes down and your production system is halted. And then you spend hours on making them go up again and by the time when they are down, your whole production is stopped. So with IoT capabilities, your machine will be communicating to you if they are about to go down and you can actually get ready with all the equipment which can fix the machine or avoid the machine failure at the first place. This can be a game changer. Now let's look at numbers and let them do the talking. Now if we talk about billion connected devices, in 2010 we had 1 billion connected devices and the number rises in 2015 to 10 billion 
and the prediction says that by 2020 we will have 50 billion connected devices and if we compare this with the world population now there's not much difference the world population is not growing in a scale in which this connected device are growing now you can see here that by 2020 if we see we have more than five connected device for each individual this is a huge opportunity and disruption at the highest level now if we see the monetary reward by 2020 global economic value which iot will add is more than 14 trillion us dollar now for the people who are a bit cynical and will ask the question that this can be a hype or can be a bubble like the initiation of the internet phase now remember when the internet began it was a bubble but we can never ignore this fact that the people who first jump into this bubble were the one who got lucky and, and earned a fortune now this has been already proven by Gartner and many other reports that this is not a hype now to summarize this session we saw what is IoT then we looked at some of the examples of IoT and we came to know IoT impact and in the next section we will answer some of the questions which will cross your mind if you think as a developer thank you for watching